Hello and welcome to Let's Play Solitaire. If you're new to this, uh, basically we play a game of Solitaire. If you like this sort of thing, uh, there's a playlist on this channel called Let's Play Solitaire. If you're looking for tips on how to get better, there's a playlist called Solitaire Tips with tons of tips on how to get way better. But let's go ahead and start with the game, right? Okay. Got the game here. And uh, first thing I like to do is go for anything in the columns that is movable. Uh, the one caveat here is that uh, that doesn't help us a ton. We're going to actually not play this. I'm going to deviate from basic strategy here. So the next thing I'm looking for is anything in the columns that can be moved. Nothing there. Nothing there. There's a 10. I'm going to hold this as insurance because I want to see what else is in the columns. Uh, and I'd like to be able to maneuver some stuff around if I could, you know, find an extra move or two. Here's an interesting spot. I, I think I'm going to take this move. We're going to try the king. We can move this queen here. Does that help us? Ace. Okay, maybe. A nine. So that gives us another eight. And we can move this jack as well. And that, the reason we did all that is we want to get to this 10. So that's good. We have another move in the four right there. So we made a little progress. We don't have any open columns now. I I am hesitant to move this. I'm going to do it, but I may regret moving that there. And we'll see. I think this three is probably a better move with the seven, though. So we'll hopefully get to that next time around. I can't remember how many cards we moved. Um, yeah, you want to, uh, a big part of this is just being able to manage the draw pile. And I'm not going to break this three down. Although uh, this nine... Nine could be a card we want to see. Down. We'll see. Uh, so six, eight. Yeah, we're going to want that uh, black nine down. That's going to be like priority number one or two. Uh, this ten will be a card we want to get to, but not yet. So the seven was a card we wanted, right? And let's see what else we want. One of the black nines. That's what The black nine was the priority number one, I guess, right? And so here's the three hearts. We'll put it here. And we moved one card so far, and that should give us the black nine. So next time we go through, we're going to go all the way to the end and play the black nine. So we got that down. And the good news is now we have a second insurance card in addition to the six. We have this eight right here. So uh, what we're doing is we're managing the draw pile as best we can, and if we do that enough... We're going to be able to open up moves and you're going to be able to if you can do that successfully you're going to be able to find a lot of different games where you could not normally beat that you're going to all of a sudden oh now we can beat it so this is this is good right here we got a 10 we've got two red nines i don't know which one's better play but we're going to find out so that leads us oh that's interesting i may want to hold off on moving one of these because i think there's a black seven in here somewhere maybe Maybe not. No, maybe not. We'll see. I might be mistaken here. There's a six. That's what I was thinking of. A red seven. That's what it was. Oh, we can play the red seven, too. We'll play the red seven. And then we can't play any other cards, I don't think. Yeah. I mean, we could play this, but that doesn't really help us at all. So, okay. Well... Is there a black two in the front? There is not a black two. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to look at two different angles here. One, angle one is here. We got a red six. We can't do anything with that. So that that's a dead end. Let's try this nine here. That's a ten. Well, I mean, it's good and bad. It's, it's good because we got rid of both the nines. It's bad because we have the six here. So we got a few more moves uh, in our repertoire here first move is going to be right here and we're not going to move this ace of diamonds yet we will move it but not yet and the reason why again it goes back to managing the draw pile we have an ace of clubs we can play we want to definitely play that we don't want to box ourselves in so we got two red fives we're going to play the five of hearts see or see where that goes that's a dead end unfortunately let's see if we get some traction on the five of diamonds that gives us some hope there's a seven we can play, and there's a six right here, but more importantly, there's a jack that can be played, or ten can be played under the jack. We can play this. This is big, because this opens up a column. We can move this five here as well, and we've made some progress. We've got two different options here. 
we can move the jack here or we can move this jack. I'm inclined to go for this jack and see what happens. There's another seven. So we made some progress. We're not all the way there, but we're going to try again. Uh, I think we can probably do six now too. And I think before we get to that one, the first card of the ace, we're going to want to play this king and then maybe play this queen, not the queen of spades, because this queen's going to be more valuable because we can open up that column there. Alternatively, if we had... Oh, we do have another uh, queen. We could play the queen and the jack and then come back and play this queen with dropping both kings. So that's an option, too. Let's kind of go one thing at a time here. So let's go back. We're going to play this king here. And I think we're going to play this queen because then we can come back and play this king. We can move this jack over here. And then we'll get this queen. So it's going to be alternative plan here. And I'm just I'm trying to open up more real or more space here. I'm almost tempted. Well, we're not going to bring it down yet. So let's go back. I was almost tempted to bring the two down, but I think a two of spades doesn't really help us. So here it is. Here's the queen. And okay, four of spades. We can move that. Another king. Okay. So we uh, don't have spades. That's going to be a dilemma here for us. We have the ace of clubs and we have the ace of... It's got to be diamonds, right? Because it's the red one. And so we got some good news and some bad news. So let's move the ace of clubs. We can do that. And do we have a card we can move behind there? No. We can't do the two of spades. We can't really move any of these cards. So what we're going to do is we're going to play the ace of diamonds. And then we're going to play the five of spades there so we can play the diamond there the question is can we find another move and the answer is I don't know yet uh, let's see so three of diamonds four of diamonds and I think we're stuck so the question is could we find a different route a different path I think the answer may be no well, no, I missed a move. I totally missed a move. It should be so obvious here. If you want to hit pause, you probably might even see it. There's the four diamonds right here. We can bring this down, and we can move the three of spades right there. And unfortunately, that doesn't get us anywhere because we still need the red queen. And we don't have the red queen. So we have to try something different here. Let's see. Is there another move? When you get to a point like this where you're stuck at the end of the game, you have to ask, is there another move or is there not? So the first question would be, you know, if we could swap this jack for this jack, I, I don't think we could. Another option is, could we swap this seven for that seven? I don't think we can. I'm going to go back and see, though, just to be sure. But I don't know that we can. So we got the jack. The jack and the seven thing. So this seven, yeah, this, I think a seven is possible. Because the seven wasn't there, right? So the seven was here. So we still move the six and the five. The question is the other jack. Or the other seven, sorry. If we can do that. So we're going to see. We're going to see if that's even possible here. So let's uh, hold on here. Nope. I think we can move that down. We'll see. So we don't want the two of spades. That's the card we don't want down. So king, queen... Jack. Okay, so there's the other seven. Here's the seven we couldn't move. What's under that? Is that something we can play? If it is, we're in business. If not, we're in trouble. So ace of spades, that's good. The other king we can bring down. We can move this two of spades. We can play the six. 
And I think we can move, yeah, we can move this three of spades. We'll be able to move up here too, because we get the ace of diamonds we can play at some point. Uh, I'm going to hold off on that. Oh, actually, I'm going to play it now. So, okay. So, ace of clubs right here. Ace of diamonds. We can play this five. We can play this four. And I'm not going to play the three clubs yet. So, okay. So what we're going to try to do here is play a combination of two different cards. I think it's going to be spades and... Well, maybe we can't do that. I might have to... Oh, we can play the seven right here, right? Okay. So there's a jack. That's good. We can play the ten. There's the queen. Four spades we will be able to play. So yeah, let's. we're going to start moving up to the foundation pile here. Two of diamonds... Three of diamonds, three of spades, four of spades, and we still have, we still need a red queen, do we not? But the question is, can we, we've got a bunch of cards here, I'm going to put them all together so look closer. We're going to try to go spades, diamonds, to uncover this jack. And that's going to be the plan here, so here's a spade. Here's a diamond. Here's another diamond. Uh, let's see. There's two sixes. We're going to move this five over. So spade, spade. Now we can go diamond, diamond. Now we're going to move this. We have two nines here. We're going to move the eight of hearts over here. So we go spade, spade. Hopefully this makes sense. Diamond, diamond. Now we can go spade, spade. Jack goes over here. Open column. Two of clubs, three of clubs, get the queen, and uh, yeah, we're going to solve it right there. Pretty cool, huh? Nice little trick. I almost forgot the trick. So that, that's an important trick to be able to have at the end of the game, because if you can do that, you're going to get out of spots you know you couldn't solve before. So anyway, that's uh, pretty cool right there. Uh, if you like this sort of thing, there's a playlist on here called Let's Play Solitaire with games just like today's. And if you're looking for tips on how to get better... In addition to what we learned today, there's a playlist called Solitaire Tips with all kinds of stuff in there. These are my favorite two uh, right here. What I can tell you is if you look at these percentages right here, it's at about 40. I was at probably 16% for the first 1,000 to 2,000 games in there. And I started making some videos on, you know, with some tips and stuff like that. And these are my two best ones. Anyway, my point is I got infinitely better tremendously better after going through just uh, little details just like this game you've seen right here and uh, hopefully i could explain that in a way where you can get better too anyway uh that'll wrap this up i'd like to thank you for watching and wish you 